All right, everybody, welcome back to part two. Essentially, in this video, we are going over joggers. Now, in the first video, we went over specifically Nike joggers. We tried on four different pairs to find out the best value, the best fit, the best quality. And uh, today, we're doing that for Adidas. So in the last video, we pretty much focused on basics. I was actually pretty surprised by a lot of those joggers. Great value, great quality, really, really comfortable. So today, we're gonna see what Adidas has to offer. Let me pull them out because it Again, today we're going to be unboxing and trying on. Right, so we got four different styles, different price points, different colors. Like, we got a lot of good varying options here, which I think is a good start if you're looking for a pair of solid joggers. So what I'm gonna do is, just like last time, I'm gonna unbag it, I'm gonna take a little initial look, and then we're gonna get into trying them on and letting you know what I think. So let's start from the top over here. We've got Adidas and Pharrell, of course. Pharrell came out with his kind of essentials clothing line. I believe this is the same but different. I think this is part of his black clothing line where he came out with a bunch of different like black colored joggers, clothing, uh, even shoes he came out with. Um, okay, so here it is. This is the human race, of course. Wow, this actually feels insanely good quality. Like heavy, good quality materials. So I do have to mention these are pretty expensive at 85 pounds. However, just feeling, just initial thoughts, feeling the quality, uh, that's not too bad. So again, pretty minimal. You're just getting a straight up black pair of joggers. However, a huge amount of text, which I believe is reflective, goes across the leg. I'll show you that. So it just says human race, and it kind of looks gray, um, but I assume when the flash is on, it kind of reflects back. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it does look like reflective. I would imagine it being reflective as well. I am impressed with this one. Definitely cannot wait to try those on, but we do have some kind of basics to get into, and I think you can't get more basic than the Adidas three stripe jogger. So there is a couple different variants of the classic Adidas three stripe jogger. This is the kind of jogger material one. They do make some that are performance based, pretty standard. I'm sure you have seen the classic three stripe jogger. It's almost like super, super iconic. Loads of people wear this. I think it's a really clean look. It's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I feel like that's what Adidas has done. But this one, I think it's still pretty clean. Anyway, we're gonna try that one on as well. Very, very minimal and simple. And then the next one. So this one is something I really wanted to try and I don't think I've tried before. This is part of Adidas's kind of essentials range. This is not just the regular essentials, this is the premium essentials. Now, wow, first of all, the color is very, very light. Like the, the crew neck that I'm wearing right now is solid white. And if I put that together, yeah, it's kind of like a creamish off-white color. This feels very, very similar to the Pharrell one. Almost identical, actually. I mean, the materials are slightly different, but really not that much different. You've got a very similar style in the cuff. I forgot to mention the price. The price on this is 59, so you're paying significantly less, 60 bucks. Keep in mind the Pharrell one is, uh, what was it, 85? So you're paying a, a little bit less for this, which I think may come in, you know, if you're not a huge fan of Pharrell or if you don't need the human race on the leg, this is pretty much the same material. And then another one which I think may be my favorite. All right, so this one is the Adidas, um, I, I don't know how to say this word, okay? So Collegiate, Collegiate, Collegiate. Here they are, all over gray. I feel like the fit on these is going to be pretty decent. They just look like they're gonna fit well. Of course, we're gonna have to try that on, put that to the test. Uh, so these don't feel as premium as the human race and of course the premium Adidas Essentials. However, they feel reasonable. The price point is fitting at 50 bucks. This really, uh, this really cool embroidered patch just on the left leg there. So it's kind of, this is where the, the college gate or co collegiate logo comes in. That's what they're referencing, which does look like, I guess, a college logo or a university logo. Like that's what that looks like, obviously, is the Adidas branding. So again, what we are going to do is I'm gonna try all of these on and then we will reconvene and I'll give you my final verdict. All right, we are back. I've tried, I've tested, I've worn them and I have some thoughts 
on all of them. So let's start from the top, let's start from where we started with, which is with the human race black Pharrell Williams joggers. So, okay, first of all, quality is top notch. It is really, really good on these. The fit is also really, really good. They are pretty comfortable as well. Um, however, the only drawback is the price point because they are 85 and then they're pretty much identical to the Adidas premium range, which is only 60 bucks. Uh, it kind of makes these a little bit questionable whether you are just paying for the Pharrell logo on them. If you do like Pharrell and you specifically like the branding and the colorway, I would think that this is a pretty good deal. It's not that bad. The quality is insane. Trust me, you're getting a very solid, heavy duty pair of joggers that is going to last you and I think looks pretty awesome. And then we've got the Essential Three Stripes. So. These are definitely very, uh, these are a lot skinnier. So definitely a tighter fit, which again has its own place. Like these are gonna look sick with a pair of slimmer shoes like Easy 350s or uh, NMDs. These are gonna look really, really good with because it is that slimmer fit. However, because it is a slimmer fit, I don't know if I would wear a bulkier style shoe like the 700 V1, V2, whatever. And I feel like for the price tag, it is pretty good. And the fit, uh, again, I think specifically around the waist is pretty tight. Like I probably could have gone uh, for a size up in these. Depending on what your waist is, I would definitely consider that because that was pretty tight. It wasn't tight to the point of uncomfortability, but definitely was the tightest out of all of them. Uh, but for 50 bucks, I definitely would say this is a good one to chuck into your rotation. The Adidas Premium Essentials, again, very, very similar to the, uh, the Pharrell one. And again, for this price point, 60 bucks, this is almost a, a no brainer. It's a really solid, again, materials, super dope, heavyweight, feels good, looks good, a nice, reasonable cuff. Again, it's a super baggy look. So again, if you like that kind of baggier fit, which again goes with bulkier sneakers, but it is minimal branding, which I do really like. Again, uh, cuff is good, pockets are good, materials are insane, decent price point. Um, so I definitely recommend this one as well. Now, I think my favorite one out of all of them is this one. Uh, this one's dope. Well, I feel like the price point is good. The materials are not as heavy um, as the other two. So there's that. But in terms of like an Adidas jogger, this one is definitely one I'm going to be keeping and wearing 100%. Um, one thing to note is that they are a little bit tight around the quads. I mean, I have slightly thicker quads because I never skip leg day. So you have a little bit of a thicker quad action. It may be a little bit too tight and you might want to size up, which is something I'm considering. Because but that pretty much wraps it up. Let me know what you guys think of all of these. Uh, if you wanna know where I got these from, I will link it in the description so you can you know, easily find it if it's something that you're interested in. Obviously not affiliated, not sponsored or anything like that. Hey, I'm just trying to help you guys out. If you have any clothing ideas that you would like me to try out, um, please do leave it down in the comment section. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for coming through, hanging out, liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. I will catch you guys all in the next one. But until then, 